hello everyone welcome again to my channel Dacti for you my name is Tina I hope you are all doing great and staying safe in today's video I'm sharing with you how Kenke or Dokono is made so without wasting much time let's get into this recipe so for this recipe you will need fermented condo so here is the condo they are dividing it into two and they, they will put it in a saucepan they will then go ahead and add water to the part in the saucepan and then mix everything together until it becomes very smooth like so so in their case they added some a little bit of cassava dough to it i asked but she said that the original one doesn't have cassava dough but in her recipe she add a little bit of cassava dough to it so she would then go ahead and add salt to it and then put this on fire and cook it she's going to stir this continuously to prevent it from creating lumps so what she did is that she's cooked this very well Mm -hmm. she cook it very well until it is cooked almost like banku here yeah, she said that she makes sure that she cook her banku very well so this part she's just making the banku so if you are here watching me please go ahead and let me know where you are watching me from so in my next video i can go ahead and give you a kiss and a hug and tell you how much i appreciate your support so she said that some people don't cook their banku or the this part of the uh, recipe very thoroughly but she cooks her own thoroughly yeah so why that is going on let's go ahead and then she went ahead to prepare her corn hacks because that is what she's going to mold the uh, kinky in to cook so here she's trying to take out the ones that are bad and then keep the ones that are good uh, in a place and make sure that there are no insects hiding in there so she looks very well before she takes the leaf that she's going to use and now she's going to uh, put water on it and soak them in water to wash so she soaked it in water for some time then she came back to wash it very well thoroughly to make sure that there are no dirt or no uh, insect or anything that is not edible in there so that is what she's doing she washed it about three or four times to get what she's looking for to get it very 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 clean so today's kisses and hugs goes to mary monica morphy from spain and mami boadua from ghana thank you all so much for everything i love you and appreciate you so here my camera went off what she did is that when the banku was done she brought the fresh uh condo and added it on it on fire and mixed everything together before she got them out so that is what she did she told me that people prefer to do that out of the fire but she, for her that is very easy for her to mix everything together so now she got everything out and she's going to use the uh, bamboo stick or the spatula to even get it more smoother together again before she starts to mold them she will then go ahead and then mold them divide them into the size that she prefer before she put them on the corn hacks yes that is what she did she said for that she will just pick one and then put them in and it's very fast for her so she's molding you pick one corn hacks and then you put the uh kenke in and then uh, add more corn hacks to cover all the kenke then they will twist and turn twist and turn twist and turn and they will uh, just tuck the remaining part inside the banku so make sure that everything is covered mm -hmm. so that uh, the banku or the kenke will not be exposed to the water or something so it's basically cooking or steaming in that leaf so this is it after everything is done she'll put some of the corn hacks inside the that the sand or the pot before she will layer down the kenke on it and then after everything is laid down she will then go ahead and add more corn hocks on top of this so thank you all so much for watching this is a very interesting procedure or recipe but it's so so yummy it's my favorite but it's just my favorite she would then go ahead and add water to it she used this uh rubber to cover it to even trap more steam in there then put it on fire she said that it needs more fire so the fire needs to be high for this recipe for it to cook very 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 well so here she was cooking and at this point it was all done and then they are just taking it from there 
pot and putting it in a coma yes yeah, so she'll just dip her hand inside water and then pick it and put it aside so they paired it with some grounded pepper and then they fry some fish to add to it and some okra so this is how they served it and it was so yummy it was so simple but so 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 delicious so thank you all so much for watching and god bless you until we meet again, please stay safe and stay out of trouble and have a happy new year. I pray that 2023 be good to you. Bye.